the seed of the Salesian presence in Nepal, which was planted in 1992, sprouted and branched out to Sirsia, Merang district, in 2005. Sirsia is a village situated in the southeastern part of Nepal, bordering India. The population consisted primarily of the migrants from India, belonging to communities like Santals, Mushahars, Rajbangshis, Telis, Gangais, Means, Nunias, Jagors, and Gwalas. The people are financially backward, landless laborers, and daily wage earners. The mission station was started primarily to care for the Catholic communities that migrated from India. The Salesians focused on three areas of intervention, spiritual nourishment for the Catholics, education for the poor children, and socio-economic development of the people. The task ahead of them was great and challenging, especially when the resources and laborers are few. Today there is a Christ-centered, vibrant parish community dedicated to meeting all the spiritual requirements of the people, even in the face of the most life-threatening situations. Their resilience was an authentic witness to the faithful. When struck, they did not run away. Father Prakash, one of the pioneers, sacrificed his life as a faithful pastor for the sheep he cared for. Now there is a thriving community in Sirsia. The handful of faithful has now increased to 1,270. The parish has also seven substations. The priests regularly visit the substations, caring for the pastoral needs of the faithful. It is a known fact that missionaries established educational institutions wherever they went. The story of Circea is no different. The Salesians knew that without education, there could be no social change. Don Bosco School Circea educates 495 boys and girls currently. Circea is not the same as it was a few years back. The Salesians believe when any child fails to acquire the education needed to function as a productive, responsible member of society. Society as a whole, not to mention the individual child, loses. Therefore, the cost of educating children is far outweighed by the cost of not educating them. It is overwhelming for anyone visiting the school to see all the children eager to learn. The locals of Circea belong to the most socially and economically backward class. Economic growth is inevitable in reducing poverty and improving the quality of life. With better financial gain, it's easier to motivate the incentives of parents to educate their children. This led to the emergence of school-going children. Solutions knew well that economic growth advances human development, which in turn promotes economic growth. A few regional schools were built by Solutions but now are manned and managed by local authorities. The center also runs a boarding to support the poor and faraway children. Even amidst privations, the children are happy to live a happy and serene life. This cheerful band of optimistic and hopeful children total 70. 
The approach they followed was community participation, which now stands as an established development strategy, operational even without their direct interventions. The father's work included awareness creations against superstitious beliefs and social evils, medical support for the sick, sponsorship program for deserving children, and need-based interventions, especially during natural disasters. Don Bosco's Circea is at work to benefit the area's poor. By the end of 2022, a new hospice hostel would be inaugurated at Circea to serve as a health center. A lot has been done and much more needs to be done. The going at times is tough, but the solutions move on with true Christian fortitude.